let's take it back to 1998. This is the Nokia 5190. It's actually the North American version of the iconic 5110, which ran on the 900 megahertz frequency. The only difference is that this 5190 runs on the GSM 1900 frequency, which is specifically for North America. The phone was also pretty small and light for the time. It was compact enough to fit in your pocket with a pretty big bulge, so usually you just have it with a holster on the side. But it was also pretty light at around 172 grams and it had a stunning 84 by 48 megapixel black and white screen well technically black and green because of the backlight it just gave you all the information that you needed there were some really cool features on this phone such as a phone book stored all your contact names uh, you were able to save some of the contacts onto your sim card This phone also had the ability to send SMS. Does anybody remember having to send SMS using the number pad? You know, you gotta press the button three times to get the letter C. It took a lot of time. It's not anything like what we have today or even the, the slide out keyboards. This phone also had a bunch of games, three of them in fact. There was Memory, Snake, Logic, and Wait, four, dice. And rotation? Okay. Um, so let's play a new game of memory. Um, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Cool, top score. This one is rotation. I'm really not sure how to play this game. I think you just have to order the numbers and well, it's it's taking it's taking a long time. So yeah. Let's play dice. Super entertaining back in the day. Uh, we didn't have, you know, Fortnite, PUBG, or CSGO. You got dice. Whoa. Alright. Now on the snake. This, this is just legendary. Like, this thing is living in modern phones right now through apps and emulators. I mean, I mean, I guess not an emulator, but people recreating this game. Um, this this game was the game to play. It was basically like unmatched. I don't know if people actually bought Nokia's just for this game. I'm I'm pretty sure they did. It's just a really fun time. Uh, mm, uh, I mean. There was a pretty bare bones four function calculator on this phone, you know, add, subtract, divide, multiply, but you had to keep on going back to the menu to, you know, click add or click equals. It's kind of annoying and kind of defeats the purpose of having a quick, easy to on your phone. The other cool thing with this phone is you could actually take it apart. Uh, Nokia sold covers that you could actually change. They were like super bright colors like yellow, red. Um, this phone is just this metallic blue finish on a plastic. I know the speaker was actually a little cute smiley face looking thing. I don't know. Kind of cute. The keypad is just rubber. Comes out. And, I mean, this is completely different from modern phones of today. There's like five layers here instead of just one laminated screen. And I mean, definitely not a touch screen. Very physical buttons. You could still use this phone without the cover, which is kind of annoying. But as you can see here, the, the LEDs are at the bottom, and the phone is still pretty thick without that front case.
1998 to 2019. It's really interesting to see how far phones have come. There's a lot of stuff that's happening that's really cool in the smartphone space right now with periscope lenses on your camera to folding screens. It's going to be really interesting to see what's going to happen in the future in the smartphone space and on this YouTube channel. I hope you like the content in this video. Thanks for watching. And I hope you learned something new about something old.